A very good morning to my fellow panels and I am Annabelle Shen and I will present my project which is a, the development of biogas IoT smart stove using kitchen waste. You must be wondering, do you know that about 930 tons of food is being thrown away every day which is equivalent to throwing away 93,000 kg bags of rice per day which can be fed to millions of people. It is considered a very huge loss that the food waste did not use as a benefit. So why kitchen waste? So kitchen waste is eco-friendly. When food waste is used as a fertilizer and produce biogas, this may reduce the air and land pollution and also reduce the greenhouse effect. Next is the kitchen waste able to produce methane gas by anaerobic digestion besides using animal dung. Lastly, it is very economical since it can be collected at any restaurant or even your own kitchen to use and produce the biogas and also the fertilizer. Alright, the next slide show the pie chart in 2015 showing that the highest fire accident happened is cooking and this may cause a lot of loss not just not just properties but also lives so the solution to this problem is to develop biogas RT smart stove using kitchen waste for the consumer it saves money which they can produce their own cooking gas and also fertilizer the next is they can get more work opportunity such as agriculture field or business. And lastly is the safety with the monitoring IoT system in the kitchen. For the producer, this will gain more money. And also this will motivate them to enhance the project to, by adding more futuristic. And this also will grow faster by having great review and great price. Okay, before proceeding into the problem statement, I did a market, res market research to 113 respondents. So based on the finding, I can see that most of the respondents is M40 and B40. Next, most of them have gardening area and also Wi-Fi at home. But as we can see here, there are still some community which using firewood as a cooking source. But mostly, gas stove has been used and but most of them do not have any safety feature in the kitchen. All right, so now I will present the problem statement. So most of the household in Malaysia using liquefied natural gas as the cooking gas, which is not renewable and we don't know when it's going to use up. Next is most of the kitchen do not have any monitoring system because sometimes humans can be so careless by leaving the sto stove on. Lastly, is not being able to turn off the stove if they are away from home, which can lead to fire accident. Okay, next slide is the objective. So the objective for this project is to develop a biodigester with filter for better quality of cooking gas. Next is to develop a prototype of automatic stove knob to turn the fire off with the use of IoT. Lastly, is to analyze the effectiveness of the sensor for detection and control feedback to the stove knob. Alright, for the scope of the project, only food waste is used to, for the biogas production. And then next is we are focusing on uh, for the biogas production with using the uh, food, different type of food waste such as fruits, chicken and also veggie and the third one is uh, Arduino Uno as the microcontroller that would act as the brand to or command center for all the operating in the system all right for the fourth uh, scope which is the flame sensor can detect flames at 60 degree viewing angle of 0 0.3 meter to 1 meter then the fifth Scope is passive infrared sensor is adjust up to 7 meter and the delay between detection can be set between 5 seconds to 5 minutes. 
and then for the six scope which is the gas sensor detect gas in the range of 300 ppm to 5000 ppm so for the wi-fi module not mcu will be used as the wi-fi module to control the servo motor and lastly is this uh, project provides stove monitoring to the user okay the next slide shows the target market so for the total addressable market we are targeting the B40 and M40 which consisting of 2.7 million for both urban and at rural area to this project all right this slide shows the overall process of the flow so it began when the food waste and water going inside the biodigester and by anaerobic digestion it will produce fertilizer and biogas and with the raw biogas it will flow into the filter system then compressed into the lpg cylinder after that it ready to be used and installed to the iot smart stove that provide monitoring system such as flame sensor pir motion sensor and mq4 methane gas sensor so when either fire sensor that detect the fire in the range of 0 0.3 to 1 meter or the gas sensor detect in the range of 500 ppm above this will link to the wi-fi module to send notification when no motion detected in the range dense less than 7 meter so user can use the blink app to turn off the stove wirelessly Okay, so as we can see this slide, the development of biogas out this muscle is separated into two parts, which is the biodigester part and also the IoT smart stove. From here, biodigester is having three parts, which is the body of biodigester, filtering system, and the biogas storage. Okay, then for the IoT smart stove, it's separated into two parts, which is the hardware that use that using Arduino Uno as a microcontroller and Wi-Fi module, not MCU as the Wi-Fi module that controls the servo motor, then receives signal from the three sensor, which is PIR sensor, flame sensor, and MQ4 methane gas sensor. Okay, for the software, Fusion 360 is used to do the 3D drawing of the biodigester and then produce for project circuit simulation. And for the computer coding Arduino software ID is used. And lastly, for the wireless, wireless control stuff knob, we'll be using the Blinks app to control. All right, this is the component for the IoT smart stove. So we are using uh, Arduino Uno as the brain for the whole operation, which controls the sensor and the output. And then a uh, node MCU will be, uh, is used for the Wi-Fi module that uh, controls the servo motor and also send notification to the user phone. All right, next is the flame sensor. So flame sensor uh, is used to sense uh, the fire and also detect the fire in the range of 0 0.3 meter to 1 meter. And I also use a PIR sensor to detect the motion uh, up to 7 meter. Alright, lastly, I'll be using 180 degree servo motor for which is act as the output and also used to control the position of the stove top. So this will help uh, to turn off the stove. So the next slide shows the, materi the material used for the biodigester. So the first one is the uh, you, uh, the body of the biodigester will be used uh, the galvani steel, which is good in tensile strength and is for roaring by machine, and also it retain the heat absorbed by the digester tank. And the second is uh, the six flat blade manual. Stirrer. So this stirrer will increase the production of biogas and also uh, to mix the, the food waste and also the, with, with the water equally. So in this slide are the materials for the filter system. So we'll be using steel wool which remove hydrogen sulfide from the raw biogas. 
and also water is used to for to remove the carbon dioxide okay lastly for the last component used is the silica gel that it will remove the moisture from the raw biogas Okay, this is the initial result of the project, which show the functionality of each sensor. So when you see here, here is all show zero, the initial. So when the gas sensor is triggered, a green LED will light up. And you can see here, in the simulation, it shows one. That means there's presence of the smoke. Okay, so next is the flame sensor. If flame sensor is triggered, it will turn on the light, LED, red LED light and show flame here is one. Okay, next is the motion sensor. When it is triggered, it show the yellow color LED light up and it will also show here that green motion is one. And that's all for the sensor. Okay, this slide show my progress, which I have done. Uh, milestone 1 and some of Milestone 2. So Milestone 1 consists of literature review, uh, introduction and methodology. And Milestone 2 uh, consists of uh, all the design, hardware and software. So... I have done the software part which is constructing uh, the circuit in uh, in Proteus software. In conclusion, not only this project helps the community, but it also helps the economy to grow as well as taking care of the ecosystem. And that's all from me. Thank you.